Hello, everypony. Prince Alagorna of Aquilonia here. And with KCAT's permission, I am now going to start a new series for this channel, which is exploring the go world of Fallout Equestria. She's the one that uh, said she liked the idea of a series format, so that's why I settled on the what you see now. Shit. Series, this is going to be damn near a separate channel by the time I'm done. Because, hey, a woman gets what a woman wants, at least if you want to survive as a dude. Fair warning, this series will be spoiler heavy, so if you have not read the story, or may be in the process of reading it, I would suggest you hold off on these vids for right now. I will leave you a link in the description, though, so you can explore the fic, and perhaps a link to the wiki if uh, you don't mind spoiling yourselves. So, for this first episode, I'm going to pose a question and try to answer it to the best of my ability. That question is, in Chapter 20, does Monterey Jack try to screw Lil' Pip over? I can already hear you. You're saying that all evidence screams that yes he did, and I'm a moron for even asking this. Just wait. And remember that sometimes the obvious answer isn't the right one. I contend that no, Jack did not try to screw Pip. Instead, he was testing her. Sure, Pip felt screwed. She felt set up, like Jack was willing to use his own foals against her. But I don't think that's the case. Let's go back to their meeting in the jail. First of all, he gives that grand speech about virtue and how the only way to survive the wasteland is to find a virtue uh, to latch on to no matter what. He claims his is honesty that he doesn't screw people over, and that the reason he confessed wasn't because of Pip, but because of him. To him, a lie of omission is still a lie, and if he didn't confess, he wouldn't be able to live with himself. He's sacrificing himself for his own virtue. It's the only way he can redeem his soul. All the while, he's staring into Pip's soul, as if searching for something, while questioning her and assessing how much the wasteland has changed her. And he does a damn good job at it. So much so that he makes Pip's skin crawl with the accuracy of his assessments, many of which are quite uncomfortable. We'll see later that these assessments not only stick with Pip herself, but also cause her to evaluate her friends and try to keep them on the right path. Especially Velvet Remedy, who she sees as an innocent slowly being consumed by simple survival instinct, which frightens her deeply. But why does uh, Jack judge Pip so intently? The answer is this. He wants to know if she's completely fallen or if there's some virtue left in her. He knew what would happen to his kids in the event of his death. He understood the crazy property laws of Ten Pony Tower in a way a naive outsider like Pip couldn't. He also knew that there was no way any pony was going to tell her about them until after the execution. The law itself is set up as the trap. It's designed so that the one wronged wins everything, while the one that committed the wrong loses it all. Not just them, but their whole families as well. And with Pip's status as an outsider, and hence her not being privy to these things, he knew there was no way for her to know that there is a timeline allowing a family to occupy their property until a given point where a transfer is deemed appropriate. He knew when she found out she was going to believe it would be an immediate thing and that she'd have no say in the matter. So what Jack was doing was looking to see if he could trust Pip. Did she still maintain enough virtue to not throw his kids out on their asses to fend for themselves, but to do her best to see that they were set up and taken care of? Yes, Jack did set her up. But he didn't trap her. That was the laws of Ten Pony Tower. And he didn't screw her. And I'm sure by story's end, he's looking down on her approvingly because she didn't let him down. Until next time, bye.